Hello officials and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the either the first or well, welcome back to Pokemon Thursday. And maybe the first ever uh Pokemon, no not just Pokemon, manga review. Now one of you visuals, James. Always commenting and doing stuff on the channel, you're a legend. You you pretty much are a visual guy at this point. Um <laughs> but he, I did a Venom comic book review not so long ago and he says you should do manga. Not that that's how, at all how he sounds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, basically he said you should do a manga review. And of course, me being me, trying to fit something into one, I thought, right, well, I'll just do Pokemon. I'm going to go for Pokemon first, obviously. Uh, read this uh, part one of Pokemon Adventures. But I'll put up on Pokemon Thursday. And if people do like the manga review, then I will start a playlist and a series of manga reviews. Like, I'm hopefully going to do a comic reviews, if it's still a thing you guys want. Uh, and if not, it still falls into the pa po category of Pokemon. My logic. We have here uh, volume one of Pokemon Adventures. Now, this, I'll give you the, uh, the blurb. Red doesn't just want to train Pokemon, he wants to be their friend too. Ah, Bulbasaur and Polly will seem game. Same game, that's a northern thing to say. An independent, and an, but independent Pikachu won't be easy to win over. Oh, and watch out for Team Rocket, Red. They only want to be your enemy. Ooh, that, is Team Rocket bad like? I, I didn't know Team Rocket were bad. But yes, it's Pokemon Adventures, and I didn't realise how... If this is... I'm, I can't quite get a date on it. I should have maybe done some research. If this is like the early on, like early mangas, or if this is the very first ever copy, there's a few questions I have as, as to what's what's going on. But it was it was beautiful. Uh, I'll go down. The, it's a manga, so you read it obviously the other way. Um, I go through the parts that I really enjoyed and the parts. Well, I enjoyed all of it. I go through my questions. So remember, let us know in the comments below if you do want an actual manga review, or if you just stick to Pokemon and would put one up on the Pokemon Thursdays every now and then. Every, every now and then. And could you please? <laughs> and, that would be amazing. Let us know that you enjoy what you're watching. But yes, our opening chapter is pretty cool. We get some kids trying to catch an Inarino. Um, it's just them trying to catch an Inarino. But of, of course, along comes Trainer Red. And uh, Trainer Red says, that's not how you catch a Pokemon because they keep failing. Uh, this is how you do it. He weakens a bit with his Poliwhirl and uh, catches the Nidorino. And if you can see clearly, the Pokeballs are quite clear in this, or not quite clear, you, you see through them. Which brings me to my first question. If this is number one, okay, this is the first adventure, because it's book number one, it doesn't show you his Poliwag evolving into a Poliwhirl. He's already automatically started with uh, a Poliwhirl. I, I, don't, I don't get it. It's trying to red, so is, is that what his starter is? Yeah, if you've read it or, or if there's and know any more knowledge better than me, then let us know. But then he bumps into Trainer Blue and uh, Mew's there. Trainer Blue's got his, um, he's got a Charmander in, in this one instead of Red, as we would know from like the uh, anime series he recently did and stuff, Pokemon Origins. Um, he's got a thing, and they bump into Mew. Team Rocket are also trying to get Mew, and it's like, oh, what's going to happen? But of course, Mew being Mew gets away. Nobody gets Mew good because Mew should just be doing its own thing. After all that shenanigans, we've been introduced to Blue, been introduced to Team Rocket, Muse about Red heads to Pokemon uh, Professor Oak's lab, and then he gets to choose his starter, which is Bulbasaur, my favourite starter. So I'm really, I'm really glad they went there, because I didn't realise Blue in the in the manga, sorry, Red, his starter was Bulbasaur. Again, how did he get a starter as Poliwag? <sighs> the Professor Oak let him in this tall grass this time, because when we tried it in the game, he completely stopped you. Then, of course, Professor Oak gives him his Pokedex. He goes off his adventure. It plays out very much like the actual games, so... Hey, uh, you get introduced to the Pokedex. The Pokedex looks like what it does in the games and stuff. Then he gets into a battle with Blue, and unfortunately, you can see his, his Poliwhirl up there. He's been destroyed by Trainer Blue's Charmander. God damn Trainer Blue. And then some more shenanigans that cuts down after they've had their battle and stuff. Involving a, uh, a Kangaskhan. There's a great line which I'm going to show you here. The one that I really love. It's that one down there. It reads, The path to becoming the greatest Pokemon trainer has gotten more competitive. I just really like that because obviously it's the first rivalry we were really introduced to. And the first rivalry that got really heated for us in the games. And reading it and seeing it on the show, it's, it's all amazing. Ah, uh, God, I really enjoyed this book. And then we're introduced to Pikachu. Pikachu's been sort of mischievous in a town. Um, there's a few people trying to catch it and stuff. But uh, Trainer Red and his Bulbasaur go out and they try and catch it. They try and defend it. Of course, he catches the Pikachu. But again, another great shot is the Pikachu looking so unhappy at the fact that it's just been caught. And then that's it. Getting registered into Trainer Red's decks. And it was great. Like I said, you go through the agenda, uh, adventure so fantastic. It's cool as well that there's different ways that they've done it all. It's not just how you expect it to be. So it threw some curveballs in there, which I was happy. And then we're introduced to Brock. Uh, obviously, Blue gets the gym badge, but Red's already been there. Sorry, Red gets the gym badge, but Blue's already been there and become champion. Not champion. 
become a... What am I saying? He wins that gym badge first. That's what I was trying to say. Um, and again, Blue's been a bit more showboat and saying, ha ha, too slow. I've got there before you, blah, blah, blah. But there's a great battle. Um, Trader Red uses Pikachu against Brock's Onyx. Some shenanigans happen. Trader Red gets attacked and stuff. All fun happens. But he does eventually pick up the W. And straight after the whole Brock shenanigans and stuff, uh, Red is introduced to Misty. She's battling a Gyarados. He thinks it's wild. He comes over with Bob, so catches it. I don't know how he catches it because she then says, that's not a wild Gyarados, that's mine, but somebody stole it from me. So again, we've always been taught that you can't steal other people's Pokemon, but he does it. But now we're introduced to Misty. Uh, there's a couple of snippets of, of them you know, doing the battle, doing the Gy Gyarados shenanigans and that. Gyarados looks crazy in the little ball all all thingy out, but Misty's here, they've just introduced, she's saying blah blah blah, like this is my star you and stuff, I'm a gym leader. We end up going into Mount Moon, Pikachu's still not fully happy with Trainer Red. Uh, Team Rocket there doing the shenanigans and stuff, Ash finds, Ash, keep on saying Ash, Red finds a Moonstone, he's you know, curious what's that, Team Rocket about there doing their shenanigans, and then a lot of Rhydon decide to come in and rampage and cause their own sort of shenanigans, I love that. That as well is the most beautiful bit of artwork I've ever seen. Pikachu gets involved in this battle with the Rhydons because they're charging. They eventually get some help with the help of Koga. Koga just gets involved in this in, out, out of nowhere, the ninja that he is. And then Misty and uh, Red get into a battle and uh, Red lose that battle. He goes and says we're going to go and train. But he's then introduced to Bill who's accidentally swapped himself for Rattata. And <laughs> that's Bill. <coughs> As a rat attack, it's quite bizarre. But he goes off in his own little thing, and this this chapter is called "But Pharaoh Itself." And then obviously the Pharaoh come and try and attack the rat attack, which is Bill. And then one sneaks off. I think it's actually a Pharaoh. If I can find the page, yeah, a Pharaoh sneaks off with uh, the rat attack, the Bill attack, the Bill attack. So Red obviously wants to come try and help. You know, says our Bob Sauce, says our Pikachu, and of course they do manage to help him and save Bill. Uh, Red obviously then. Defeats fear and stuff. They go back to the lab, reverse Bill back to normal, uh, and Bill's just, he's all fine, he's all happy, well and dandy, with red. After all that shenanigans, uh, Red sneaks onto the SS Ann and he's, he's interrupted, he's he's uh, bumped into LT Surge, and LT Surge is like, what the hell are you doing on my ship? This, this the battle between LT Surge, because we get straight into a battle between LT Surge and, and uh, Red, was crazy because he, he does explain like the Poliwag evolving into Poliwag and stuff. Didn't explain that how Poliwag was his first start, unless it's something I overlooked. He was sort of like, there's a great scene. LT Surge calls a rampage, he chucks um, Ash, uh, Red, keeps saying Ash, off the SSN. And uh, he says, oh, you know, he's going down to the bottom of the depths. He's like, oh, I remember when this happened once before, and Poliwag wasn't able to save me, but a Poliwag appeared meaning it evolved. And the same thing happens again here. The Poliwolf saves Red, brings him up, and as he brings him up, he's a Poliwrath. No water stone or anything involved there, but um, it's Poliwrath versus LT Surge's Electabuzz now, and all shit is kicking off. It's a pretty cool battle. Poliwrath ends up destroying Electabuzz, sending him flying, crashing all the way back onto LT Surge, and LT Surge just sort of runs off, uh, not happy as anything. Uh, we then see the whole bike path type thing going on. Uh, Red heading all the way down the bike path, which was great to see. Uh, it was a fun little spot during the game, you know, path would always drag you down. But you get to see that, so a few more shenanigans happens. We bump into a nice sleeping Snorlax, which is a, a pretty cool story arc. A few more crazy shenanigans happens with the uh, the Snorlax and stuff, but we'll jump straight on to uh, the, the, the final, I think it's the final chapter from right. Uh, yeah, chapter 14, that, that awful Arbok, and we, we back up with Trainer Blue, and he's got a Charmeleon now, but they've both been had their minds took over. They've been, uh, what's the word, hypnotized, and it's by a ghastly, but Red turns up with his Bulbasaur, Puts them out of it, Bulbasaur's going around, whoom, and sorry, boo That's the name of every grass attack now. Whenever you use a grass attack, just say boo And they bump into the crazy Team Rocket guy who I called Koga early. He's not Koga, he's one of Team Rocket's elite, um, <laughs> elite triad. Um, it just looks like Koga so badly. It looks identical to like Koga. I guess I was quite lost with this. I was like, oh, Koga's turned up reading through it. I was like, oh no, hang on a second, it's, it's not Koga. It's Team Rocket guy, but it's his Arbok, so blue and uh, red team up to disperse of this Arbok and try and win and get rid of this Team Rocket elite guy. And um, this scene here, though, which is quite, quite minging, Arbok, if you can see down there, gets kind of ripped in half and his insides spill out everywhere. Yeah, not the kids. Uh, but we get an, another little horrible shot of uh, Pain De Duo's grave. A bit of respect. It was really dark at some points. But that was the overall story. We had a few battles and stuff in there. The uh, the team lineup, what was going on. It was a really fun read. I enjoyed it. There's a couple of bits I skipped over because if you guys are going to go read it off, you have already read it, you know, whatever. I don't want to spoil too much. And if you have already read it, you don't want to hear me repeating what you've already read. And I've probably butched half of this anyway. 
so hard to do like a book review or a thingy review. I don't know how to word it and say stuff, but uh, hopefully I get better. But the best thing I really like about this is at the end, um, my favourite part is, like I said, at the end, we get Red's Pokedex, uh, it budges to Pokedex 26. It shows you how, what the, how this book ends and what team he's on with. We've got Pikachu level 21, Bulbasaur level 30, Napoleon level 31. Why isn't that Bulbasaur evolved yet? You know, the HP and stuff, the type grass, you know, type there, water and stuff. Number of Pokemon found, number of Pokemon caught, uh, and it gives you a beat like in-depth look of how the adventure ends in this book which is really really great it ties everything beautifully together at the end there's a beautiful little map of the Kanto region uh, and it going through everything that went down like um, where, where the Mew shenanigans happened where the Snorlax shenanigans the Rhydon the Gyarados you know who versus and stuff everything's there it, it ties up everything you know if you go through there's a bit you forget it ties up everything beautifully in the end yeah that was my manga review hopefully you enjoyed it hopefully it wasn't too boring or, or weird or just it's really hard to do a manga view. This is only part one. I don't know how many parts there, there are, but I'm going to go back to the town and find the second part because I want to know what goes on. The way it tells the story, there were some different aspects from the show, from the game, which is fantastic. Um, I just don't know where you got the polywag from at the start. Again, it might be something I've overlooked or misread. You, please let us know. I definitely go recommend you check out Pokemon Adventures, Volume 1 and the rest of the volumes. I'll go online tonight and see how many volumes there are. Hopefully they're all in Waterstones. I'll buy a good chunk of them. Blitz through them. I can review the whole series if that's something that you want. I'll make sure I can get all of them. Let us know in the comments below. Yeah, the book was fun. The artwork was beautiful. The story was great because it's a story that I already love, just with some different variations in there. It didn't take me too long to read. It literally, I think I got through it a couple of hours. Uh, there's, there's not a whole bunch of reading. A couple of hours, coffee. I was there, done, dusted. Fantastic read. Hopefully you did enjoy my review visuals. I'm gonna let you go now because I don't know how long this has gone on for. It's just gonna be a quick manga review. Thank you, James, for requesting this. Hopefully it's it's come out how you wanted. If it hasn't, I apologize, but I'll work on it, make it get better in the future. If it's something you guys still want, visuals keep me and you keep on. Snorlaxing on. Gotta stop trying to edit my ending. Keep me and you keep on keeping on. I'm not funny. And if you like what you're seeing, guys, come and follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I hope you enjoy the videos and you keep watching them.